Hey everybody, this is Chad from Sticks Blog. I'm Stick, and today I'm going to treat some of my clothes with some permethrin so that I can keep the ticks hopefully at bay and maybe even some of the bugs. So uh, I'm going to do it a slightly different way than I've done it before. That's why I wanted to do a little video on it. Um, in the past, I had bought the uh, Sawyer Squeeze. They've got the pump bottles. Uh, you can even buy the little bottles of uh, concentrate that you add to water and dilute and soak your clothes in. Uh, those work fine. My only thing is, is uh, those, uh, they can kind of get expensive and they don't really treat a whole lot of different articles of clothing. So uh, I've decided that what I wanted to do is I wanted to buy some concentrated uh, permethrin and I'm going to dilute it myself and that way it's going to equal out to I'm saving tons of money as compared to what I was doing. Um, now, I will say that this is the way that I've decided to do this. Um, I have spoke with another friend of mine that does it the same way, uh, using the same dilutions, and he says it works fine for him. But in no means am I recommending anybody else to do this. Uh, permethrin is a, a very toxic uh, chemical. Um, it actually is fatal to cats. So if you have any cats, you want to be real careful uh, using this stuff around cats. But uh, it's a chemical, so you need to do your studying. And in no way am I assuming any kind of responsibility if somebody decides to do the same thing that I'm doing. Um, I'm doing this for myself, and uh, I'm going to use precautions. And uh, like I said, that's my spiel on it. So I accept no responsibility. So let me just show you what I've got here. I've got a five-gallon bucket that I'm going to use to uh, mix everything in. And what I have is... I bought this, this is a quart of uh, permethrin. It cost me $31, 16 ounces. Uh, and what I plan to do is mix two ounces of this, it's 36.8%. I'm gonna mix two ounces of this with one gallon of water. And uh, speaking with my friend, uh, that's pretty much enough. Uh, it's gonna be, it should be the equivalent of some of this, the, uh, the clothing that you buy that's got the permethrin and stuff built into it that's supposed to last like seven washes or something. Regardless, it's going to last a long time. A lot longer than the six washings or six weeks or whatever it is the other uh, has on there. So I've got that. Now I've also got this bottle. I just went and bought a spray bottle and I've labeled it with permethrin. You probably can't see that, but uh, I've labeled it here. And uh, when I get done treating my clothes, I'm going to take whatever's left and pour it inside this bottle. That way, uh, before I go out, if I want to, I can just take this bottle and just kind of hit up around the hems or around the edges and stuff, the sleeves and stuff like that. You just kind of give it a little extra boost. So that way I don't waste any of it. And then of course, I just have some uh, latex gloves because this stuff, like I said, it is a chemical. So you have to be careful with it. Um, so I'm gonna use these gloves and stuff so I make sure I don't get any on my skin. And other than that, I have a bunch of clothes in here. I've got a bunch of socks. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my socks. You can see I've got a bunch of socks here. Um, and then I have some socks for my son because he's fixing to go on a hike with me. I'm gonna go ahead and do those socks for him. Uh, I have my hiking pants and my son's hiking pants. I have my son's hiking shirt. And then I've got a couple of different shirts in here for myself. Um, and then that's it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera in just a little bit closer and I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and just kind of show you how I'm going to do it. Now the way I'm going to do this is after I mix it up and pour everything in here, I'm going to put my clothes in here. I roll up my clothes just because it uh, maybe it won't take up as much room. I don't know. I'll see how that goes. Um, and then I'm going to let it sit. The clothing's going to sit and soak for an hour. And once that's done, I'm going to pull it out, wring it out really good, and then I'm going to hang it up on a line so it can dry in the sun. Once the stuff is dried in the sun, or once it's dry, the clothes is dry, uh, there's no worries about the actual chemical uh, having any kind of effect on your skin unless you're allergic to permethrin or something. Maybe, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a uh, scientist or anything. I'm just, you know, you got to use your own common sense for this stuff. So. Hang on just a second, I'm going to get the camera in just a little bit closer. Okay, so like I said, this is the permethrin here. Uh, this is 36.8% uh, concentrate, and it is 32 ounces. And the neat thing is it's got a little measuring cup here, so uh, 
I can just kind of get me, uh, it's a one ounce measurement, so I can put one ounce in there. And then, well, first off, I'm gonna add the water. Like I said, this is just one gallon of water. Nothing special about it. I'm using such a large bucket partly because my that's what my friend recommended but also uh, just to kind of keep everything as contained as I can because like I said this is a chemical and cats are allergic to it and these are my awesome gloves here kind of small okay so, measure out about an ounce. Of course, it's got a little in there. Then pour that in. Measure out about another ounce. It's actually a little bit more. Pour that in. And you can definitely smell this stuff. It's pretty stout smelling. Okay. So now that's two ounces of 36.8% uh, permethrin in one gallon of water. And uh, you can see it's a little white. It's real white in there. So, so now then I'm going to take my clothes. Just kind of start. Just kind of push them in there. Well, they kind of float. <laughs> Figure out what stuff I'm gonna be using. Just gonna throw a bunch of pairs of socks in there. And uh, I don't have to get everything in on this first one. Um, because once I pull this out, I can always just, uh, see that's what it looks like in there. So I'm gonna let these sit for about an hour and then I'm gonna come back and uh, I'm gonna hang these up. I'm gonna ring them out and hang them up. And now I'm gonna do the rest of the clothes down there. So, go ahead and just pull these off here. These are actually smaller than I had anticipated. Just gonna throw those there. And then, like I said, this is the bottle. Let me say I've labeled it. So uh, we'll see how things go. So anyway, I'll be back in about an hour. It won't be that long on the camera, but I'll be back and I'll take it from there. Thanks a lot. Okay, now it's been about an hour. As you can see, all the, it's still in there. It's still soaking real good. And I've got another pile of clothes over there that I'm gonna do next. And then as you can see, I've got this line with a bunch of paper or a bunch of uh, clothes pins up and I've got some coat hangers. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start pulling these out and I'm gonna wring them out as best as I can. Not worried about leaving a lot of the stuff in there because uh, I want it to dry out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the socks apart. And uh, somehow and just clip them up here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that with everything in here. I've got a bunch of pair of socks, so I'm not gonna make 
make you uh, watch me do all that. Rubber band from the shirt. Here's the shirt I had. Now one thing I am wondering about is uh, how this is going to affect my, my wool shirts. This shirt that I have here is a uh, stoic merino wool. It's a 150 weight so it's a, a bit of a delicate wool. Now the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to go down here. I'm actually just going to use a coat hanger. Good and wrung out, it's kind of a hard part. <laughs> and one plus is considering that this is supposed to be fast drying clothing, it's all synthetic or, or even the wool, um, it shouldn't take very long for it to dry. Now we have these here. Hang these up. And uh, let those dry. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, get the rest of the stuff hung up. I want to make watch all that. One thing I want to show you I've got in here that I'm gonna do next is a visor. I'm even doing my visor. And my nephew that's going with me, he's got a hat I'm going to do for him. So anyway, I'm going to get this stuff hung up. And uh, I'll probably do another video once I'm all done. And uh, show you just pouring out the remaining uh, amount of permethrin that I've got mixed up into the bottle. And uh, that's going to be about it. One thing I want to say, I would suggest uh, your gloves. Get them overly big. Because these, they were the size that I needed according to the package. But, I mean, they're real tight, real hard to get off. And then, of course, you don't want to be touching your skin if you don't have to. So, I would say get the biggest gloves that you could get. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'll get one more shot a little bit later. And uh, until then, we'll see you. Thanks.